They mattresses be on the floor. These hoes they wake up, they messy. They run in their mouth, they so petty. Oh yeah, these hoes be running their mouth and they're so petty, or how she said it, petty, because she's a fucking sheep now. Okay, we're three seconds into the video, and let's see what we got here. Loser faggot, 25-year-old, genuine pedophile boyfriend that probably spends his time watching NASCAR at home and making his own homemade fucking cheese. He also probably does meth. Extremely edgy, extremely fucking retarded, wannabe gangster tattoos that overall consist of a bunch of random-ass quotes, most likely from John fucking Cena, a clean-cut American flag tucked away in the background. Disgusting 14 year old Muppet and also soon to be future carrier and hive mind of a doomsday super sexually transmitted disease that will most likely wipe out the entire fucking planet. It'll probably be named Cash Me Outside. I ran out four times in one day. You got one more time to hit me, Daniel. What up, my fellow members of the Jake Paul Militia? Welcome back to a brand new video. And, you know, just getting into it, honestly, guys, yesterday was an absolute shitstorm. It all started around 6 o'clock in the afternoon when I was on Infowars.com trying to figure out why people still believe that the world is round. I mean, what a bunch of retards, am I right? Like, shit, man, it's not that hard. The world is clearly a flat waffle god damn welcome to the 21st century the earth isn't round anymore because it never was because it's flat let me enlighten you about the flat earth theory see this guy gets it he's totally not an absolute batshit fu anyways though i ended up finding out that daniel cum dumpster the second aka cash me outside aka the local cum dumpster of detroit who also got pretty much all of her popularity in the first place for being an astronomically happy-go-lucky fucking retard while being on the wonderful dr phil show i'm talking to be sliding you mean that's what makes me want to take the next bitch car? You got one more time to hit me, Danielle. You got one more. I'm pretty violent. I'm gonna sure in the face because she wouldn't get out of my face. <laughs> Hello. What's up, girl? Where's everybody? Have a seat. There's no hose. <laughs> oh my god, guys, you get it? Because she's on Dr. Phil, and they wouldn't have fucking prostitutes on the show? Okay, seriously though, all bullshit aside, she ended up dropping a music video. And with that being said, today I thought we would watch this video together. So with that all being said, and without further ado, pop up, 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 play that herpes all over my face. Breaking news, everybody, we actually got a crazy update after 8 seconds of her getting out of a fucking car and walking around circles in a straight-up driveway, we finally got the title screen, and holy shit is it hype. Bad baby with fucking everything spelt wrong, just to really live up to the fact that the person that made this song is absolutely fucking retarded. And on our left, ladies and gentlemen, we got Eric here, probably making a rap music video talking about why he personally has various different political disagreements with our current president, Donald Trump, followed up with a very bold statement that he himself is actually going to assassinate Donald Trump if he goes into his neighborhood or living space, which is literally a fucking felony. Like, I, I really don't understand all these people saying they're going to kill Donald Trump. Like, you motherfuckers can actually go to jail for that like this isn't a joke jesus christ if he wanted to he could fucking arrest you he could straight up show up at your door and say hey that's not nice and then straight up detain you i mean hey look i'm just looking out for you guys right And 
then okay. First half, three seconds into the second quarter, i.e. the shitty ass song, and we already got so much out of tune that I feel like I might actually shit myself. Complex, stereotypical garbage lyrics, most likely written from a fucking pig, and of course, last but not least, a dope ass rap beat, most likely stolen from the first page of a shitty Google search saying some shit like, cool, sick rap beats. Yeah, my pocket's so swollen. Oh yeah, Daniel, that's right. Fuck all of these fake hoes. You're so real. I mean, you're so real. You got all of your popularity to begin with by being a fucking loser off Dr. Phil. There's no hoes. These hoes be dick riders and they all come up cause they let you fuck. These hoes be full of drama, they always with the extra. Okay, dude. I <laughs> I'm fucking done. Okay, let me get this straight. These hoes be dick riders, blah blah blah. These hoes be full of drama and also acting so extra. Okay. Daniel, I don't know how else to say this, but you, no joke at all, genuinely cause drama on a day to day. This video alone is fucking drama, you stupid fuck. You know, seriously though, leave it to the person that got famous off of Dr. Phil that calls themselves Cash Me Outside to make a video talking shit about these hoes and them causing drama when they essentially make a video every other week causing fucking drama. These hoes they wake up, they begging. On the ground, they be fake flexing. These hoes they wake up, they broke. They mattresses be on the floor. These hoes they wake up, they messy. They run in their mouth, they so petty. This bitch might actually be completely retarded, and I feel bad for talking shit about her now, man. I mean, like, let's think about this for one second, right? This isn't a daily video, this is a music video that clearly took a lot of time to make, and one of the sick ass, garbage ass bars that she decided to come up with, or let's be real, whoever decided to write all this stupid shit for her, was these petty bitches be running their mouth, which is a really sick bar, despite the fact that I Ironically enough, while she's saying that, she is genuinely fucking running your mouth as well, so... I, I don't really know what the fuck to say. These hoes, they feed off attention. Yeah. Zero time, that's what I give. I ain't nothing like these hoes. Don't compare me to no one. Money green like a sea lot. Yeah, my pocket's so swollen. I ain't nothing like these hoes. Time out. Just quick little side note here, right? Just a random thought that came to my head. How the fuck is this bitch different from any of the other hoes that she's talking about. Like genuinely, what is so unique about her? Despite the fact that she probably has 10 times more fucking STDs than the genuine real fucking prostitutes that live in her ghetto ass neighborhood. Because after talking to my team of researchers back at NASA, the only thing we can think of is that she was on Dr. Phil. <laughs> What is that supposed to be, like a projection of what she thinks the stereotypical person that doesn't like her is? Some old, disgusting, fat cow, angry mom that's angry at everybody? Yeah, sorry Daniel, but I'm pretty sure that the average person that doesn't like you isn't some fat mom. I mean, still though, that is just my opinion. I mean, who actually knows? I... I mean, shit man, I, I am definitely a fat fucking cow. I don't- oh god damn it dude! Wait, what the fuck? What is she even saying? Does anyone even know? Like, sure, I'll catch up on, like, one or two words every now and there, but... Uh, it doesn't even sound like fucking English. Like, shit, man, no joke at all. I genuinely heard that last line that she just said as... I'm hanging out with my boy Jafar. Like, maybe I'm just not picking up on it enough, but... It's, it, it genuinely sounds like a different fucking language. She's, like, slurring all their words. She's adding in a bunch of random-ass haikus just to make the song flow together a little bit better. Just shit like, These bitches so petty! Do you really have to do that? Like, seriously, Daniel, I'm trying to help you here, man. I really am. Water, water, dripping, come take a peek. You in a trailer, oh, but you can't compete. I'm riding solo, don't you know about me? Run up a check, and we run in the shit. Yeah, red cup, no, it ain't Kool-Aid. Got me fed up, you hoes too fake. One minute he a man, he a ride or die. Next minute on the 
ground with a new bae. These hoes, these hoes. Shame on these hoes. I'm in the make back. I heard you got repo. Hair down, diamonds on, need a peacoat. Heard the fans listen in, gotta speak loud. Ain't nothing like these hoes. Don't compare me to no one. Gotta love the unnecessary, stupid ass color effects in this video. Like, it's just so absolutely pointless that it's unreal. And, you know, the sad thing about it, too, is you know there's a bunch of, like, 10 year olds that are like, oh, oh my god, it's so pretty. It's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking cook. Money green like a sea love. Yeah, my pocket's so swollen. I ain't nothing like these hoes. Don't compare me to no one. Money green like a sea love. Yeah, my pocket's so swollen. Look. And okay, it's done. It, it's just, it's done. Thank God, dude. Jesus Christ. I swear to God, if we had one more minute in that song, 100% would have stuffed my head into my own oven and lit myself on fire. I'm fucking 100% on this shit. Like, seriously, man, if I have to hear this stupid bitch saying, where the hoes at, or something involving hoes one more time, I'm gonna straight up end it all, dude. I don't know what her obsession is with hoes. Maybe it's a little bit of projecting. Maybe it's the Illuminati controlling the events of this, adding a little bit of symbolism and foreshadowing to her eventual future or some shit. I don't fucking know. But genuinely, she needs to stop with all this hoe shit. Like, fuck, man, there needs to be a line. This is psychological warfare. Bitch is gonna give me a migraine, god damn. Anyways though, um, I wanna leave this video with a final conclusion, and of course with a final message, that a lot of you guys are probably gonna be skeptical about, but I swear to you, is the absolute truth. Okay? Hear me out right now. This shit is important, okay? This is not a joke. I know you guys won't believe me, but look. Whether you guys wanna believe me or not, I am from the future. And I've been sent here by the Illuminati to warn you all about a current threat that is about to happen in this generation right now, okay? Daniel Danelli, come dumpster, cash me outside, is going to develop a new type of sexually transmitted disease that will spread and destroy the entire planet. Now, I'm not sure how it's actually developed or how this disease actually came about, right? A lot of theories and a lot of speculation has definitely been circling around the fact that she herself, according to the scientific research that I've gathered, has a total of over five, has an overall sum of over 5 billion STDs alone, but we don't know. It doesn't matter. This bitch right here needs to be quarantined. She needs to be put in a little fucking box and dropped off off the fucking planet Earth. Okay, that we need. She needs to be dropped into Atlantis. Throw her into the portal leading into the fucking Wizard of Oz. Get rid of her. Fucking blast her to Mars. Deport her to the fucking moon. It doesn't matter because she will kill everybody with this ultra fucking STD that is it's gonna spread. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like the swine flu, except for people are gonna fucking explode. It's deadly. And it must be stopped. Because honestly, Daniel is just a giant fucking thought, dude. And leave a like if you agree with me that she needs to be relocated to the fucking moon. See now a lot of people ain't impressed, I know. Cause I'm 15 rapping and the kid ain't got no flow. You both souls drowning in the words I'm spitting, so get the robo. Cause the stream of words don't grow more, not grow more. Cause they low go in my mojo. It's so pro, yet I'm low gold and still stroll for more glow. But your whole know that I'm up next.